Hello everyone, welcome to the Lemons World English channel. My name is Sebastian and I am an actor and I love English. In today's video, we're going to talk about 10 words that I found really, really hard to pronounce um, when I was learning English. So I will share these 10 words with you. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if you find them also hard to pronounce. The first word that uh, I used to mispronounce was set, set, which is the past tense for the verb say or to say. So uh, it's written like this. Sorry, it's so it's spelled like this. And most of Spanish uh, native speakers, we used to pronounce it said. So, for example, I said that I wouldn't do it. But it's not said, it is said. I said I wouldn't do it. The second word is determine. Determine. It's spelled like this. And uh, I used to pronounce it determine determine it's not the correct pronunciation the correct pronunciation for that word is determine determine the third word i really loved because i love sweet i love um yeah i love sugar so <laughs> uh this word we also struggle a lot with this word because we pronounce, we are used, I mean, we, in Spanish we pronounce, all of the vowels are pronounced in, the, in because our language is phonetic. English is not a phonetic language. And this word is chocolate. Chocolate. So we Spanish speakers used to pronounce it chocolate. Chocolate. But that's not the correct pronunciation. The correct pronunciation for that word is chocolate. Chocolate. For example, last night I went to the bakery and I bought a chocolate cake. Uh, the next word is not just a word. It's like I want to bundle all of the words starting with S, you know, because we Spanish speakers used to pronounce the e, the S with an E at the very beginning of the words. And it's not correct. That's not the correct pronunciation. So the words I'm talking about are this. So we used to say stop, smile, start. Stay, stand, but that's not the correct pronunciation. So we've got to say smile, start, stop, stay, stand. So always is the sound first. We always must pronounce the S, not an E at the very beginning. We don't pronounce a stop or a smile, but stop, smile. I love smiling. Excuse me, sir, where is the bus stop? Tonight, the sky is full of stars. I should stay here. Next word is... Uh, very common mistake. It's a very common mistake because, again, we used to pronounce every single uh, vowel of the words. And uh, it's weird. I found it... Re I remember that I struggle a lot with that word because I couldn't find, like, the... Uh, like, how to pronounce it. And, and it was really hard for me to memorize the pronunciation of that word. Uh, I don't know if that happened to you as well. Let me know in the comments. So, we used to pronounce it receipt, but what happens here in this word is that the P and the T are silent, silent uh, 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 letters, so we don't pronounce them. We say receipt, receipt, 
I'm going to show you my receipt. This is the supermarket receipt. So the next word is going to be I don't feel mm, I'm not feeling good. Um I just want to live. Or for example, when you want to when you want to say that your bed is not as cozy as you would like it to be, you you might say, or you can say, comfortable, comfortable, like this, and it's spelled like this. So, most of non-native speakers, uh, we used to pronounce it comfortable, comfortable. I've heard comfortable and comfortable, comfortable. That's not the correct pronunciation of that word. The correct pronunciation is comfortable, 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 three syllables, comfortable. So, I bought, I bought, or I, so, I have a really comfortable bed. And the next word, I know that there are a lot of people who hate this word. <laughs> Because it's really hard to pronounce. We suffer a lot with that word. And it's schedule. <laughs> I know, it's a really hard word. Because the spelling is so weird. So it is an S, then a C, then H. So if we if we would pronounce it like in Spanish, we'll say schedule, schedule, schedule. Schedule, but with schedule, 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 but British people, my lovely British people, has have a different pronunciation for this word, and you will love it. And it's like this. Thank you, ambulance. Schedule. Oh, I was checking my schedule, and uh, I realized that I'm a very busy person. I'm always exaggerating British accent. But, yes, British people say schedule, schedule, schedule. So, our next lovely word would be this one. Is it... Miscivious? Miscivious? No, 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 no. It's mischievous. Mischievous. I'm going to use it in a sentence. I love your mischievous side. What would be your mischievous side? Mine would be... Tell me if you think that this side is mischievous. So the next word again is not just a word. I, I also am going. I'm going to bundle it because there are a lot of words that we mispronounce because again, we don't speak Spanish. We don't speak English as native. It's not a native language. So we used to pronounce this word: talk, walk, schult. We pronounce the L and the D, like the L, the L sound. Talk, schult. It's not. We we should not pronounce the L. Should. Talk. Walk. Yeah. So, let me know in the comments. Please interact with my videos. Please interact. So, let me know in the comments. Please interact with the video. <laughs> and write um, a sentence with work. Talk and shoot. And would. 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 I would. 
I shoot, I walk, I talk. Alright? Talk. Wit. Shoot. Walk. Walk or talk? Anyways. We don't pronounce the L. The next one is so similar. And it's this one. It's not Iceland. Iceland. Because we are not talking about the country. The cold country. Which is Iceland. If we are talking about a gorgeous and para paradisiac. Par paradisiac. Oh, there's a word. It's a hard word. You know what I mean. Uh, I island. We say island. 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 No. Island. Island. I went to a gorgeous island on vacations. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, once again, if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and follow my social media. See you next time. By the way, I checked the word and it's paradisaic. So, I went to a paradisaic island.